All right, Whitney, uh, how's Missoula, Montana? So good. It's actually so beautiful here. We love it. Montana's super underrated. I've been there a couple of times, and it's been awesome every time, especially this time of year. Yeah, there's so many awesome outdoor things you can do here. So we're not going to be doing any of those, though. We're going to be playing some volleyball. <laughs> Indoor only. Um, you start with Pitt. You get, uh, you know, Texas, Rio, Grand Valley. You get the Montana Grizzlies. You're sitting in the uh, stands there. When Heather Olmstead said, hey, we're going to Montana for the opening weekend, what was your reaction to that? I was like, all right, I'm excited. Yeah, wherever we go, it doesn't matter where we go. I'm excited about it. Get to start the season. That's what's most important. And then you get Pitt. This is going to be the fourth meeting in three years. Um, you played them at the beginning of last year in, in uh, Provo in September. You played them in the second round of the NCAA tournament. So technically, it's back-to-back -back games with Pitt here. How are you feeling about a fourth matchup with the Panthers? You you probably feel like you know the team pretty well at this point, right? Yeah, yeah, actually, uh, we do. It's It's been so fun playing them every single time we've played them. And we're excited that we get to play with them again and start out the season with them. So we're super excited. We, we've we been working really hard this off season, and we're ready. They say it's hard to beat a team three times, let alone four. So the fourth one's right. going to be the one, right? Fourth time's the charm. <laughs> Let's go. To play the number five team in the country out of the gates, they went to the Final Four last year. They were awesome. BYU's been awesome the last several years, including a Final Four in 2018. What does it mean to start the uh, season with a matchup like that of number five and number 17? Honestly, it's the best case scenario for us. Being able to play such a good team first really will help our team and show us things that we can get better at and keep building on for the rest of the season. Now let's talk about uh, your season. Certainly last year um, came onto the scene in a massive way, which was amazing. You had a, a tremendous year hitting and blocking teaming up with Heather Knighting for the last couple of years. It was awesome. Heather is now going to be playing professionally in Turkey. How have you sort of felt the mantle of, of leadership, uh, the matrix of leadership, if, if you want to refer to it that way, like transformers of being kind of the main middle blocker, that's going to coach some, some young middle blockers. Right. I've been here for five years, start of my sixth year. So I know what's up. I know our system. I know our culture and all those things. And, so I've really felt prepared to be where I'm at right now to have that leadership position and to help mentor those that are new here, especially those in my position. Let's talk about a couple of those uh, young bucks in uh, Brio Chemivore and Mia Lee, some of the top recruits in the country at Middle Blocker. How have they been early in the season? They've been so amazing. I love playing with both of them, not only because they're so good at volleyball, but just because they're great people. And I think that they just mesh with our team super well, our team culture. And they've also pushed me to be better, which is awesome as freshmen coming in. Okay, you hit 386 last year, second in the WCC. How did you elevate your game and kind of make that leap as a player in all facets, especially hitting? Yeah, so at the start of the season, since it had really been my first time starting and being one of the starting middles, I really just had no expectations for myself. And my main goal was to just go play my game that I've been training for. And just like being able to play with Kennedy, Eschenberg, and Heather Knighting for all the years that I did, those All-American middles pushed me behind the scenes to get so much better. So then at the point of my time to be able to go perform, I felt really prepared to just go out and do what I knew how to do. Uh, and then there's Kate Pryor, who was a big time recruit last year. She's now on the right side um, and she's a massive right side, which is awesome. How has she been mm -hmm. developing in camp so far and in spring? She's been doing so good. Just I've really seen her growth and progress and her coming out of her shell. I think what really helped was her being able to go to the USA collegiate national team uh, events that they had and the training that they had. And just being able to see her grow and blossom has been so awesome. Give me a sense of the leadership with yourself, Aaron Livingston, and Whitney Bauer, who comprise kind of the core experience senior three there with this team this year, because the expectations are always high with women's volleyball at BYU. Mm -hmm. uh, this summer, we ran a lot of our own practices, and we planned out a lot of our practices on our own. I, and I feel like this senior leadership group 
has just been so set on what we want to do and has really been holding our team accountable to what we want to do and our, our practices during the summer were so organized and so intentional and i think that's just like what i've loved so much about this senior leadership together is how intentional we've been with our words and with our actions and how we're trying to mentor the other girls to the expectations that we have and those expectations are high the league acknowledged as much obviously texas is going to be the top pick they've won a national championship they've been dominant BYU was mm-hmm. number two what in the preseason poll among the coaches what did you, you guys think of that we were super excited about it but at the same time we know that it's just a prediction it's just a a number of something that hasn't happened yet and so because of that we know that there's so many opportunities for us to go out and play our game and to compete every single match and the outcome will take care of itself spoken like a fifth year senior very very good uh (laughs) you're going by McEwen Laranis this year Uh, Mm um that's new and we got to talk about Mitch your husband so we've (laughs) talked about on the broadcast but for those who don't know he's a foot shorter you're six three he's five three Yep. How, did, how did the initial interaction come about? And you don't see too many couples with this dynamic, which is really fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we actually met each other at a Denny's in Provo. At so like 1 a.m.? Yeah, it was 2 in the morning. <laughs> don't worry, it was a weekend. We had nothing the next day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's how we met, just through mu- mutual friends pretty much. And um, it's funny because I was like, yeah, this isn't going to happen. Like, I would have to think <laughs> that it was going to grow into anything. But he was like, oh, she's into me. <laughs> and so he he took the moves after that. So, um, yeah, it's it's an interesting relationship, but it's super fun, super awesome. And, yeah, we love it. We all need a mm-hmm. little bit of irrational competence, right? Like yeah, just, exactly. just, a, just a little bit in certain moments. Mm-hmm. And that, that's great that he had that at uh, Denny's at 2 a.m. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> on a mm-hmm. weekend. That's so good. Okay. Um, this group, this season, Big 12, how, how are you feeling about kind of how the team has come together and what you could do this year? We're feeling so good. And honestly, I feel so unified with the team. I think what's really helped us is our foreign trip that we went on earlier in May and being able to go experience something like that with our whole team really helped us to be so unified. And I think helped us get some cohesion early on. And since then we've just been able to click as a team and fill in those pieces that we need together and being able to see everyone as a whole, it's just been super good. So we're super excited for this team. Well, I know I'm stoked, uh, obviously, to call the games with uh, Amy and Kenzie coming up this year at home, but people can watch your game uh, tomorrow or Friday when this airs on BYU Sports Nation. Two Mountain Time on ESPN+. Plus. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Whitney, thanks for the time, and have a great season. Mm-hmm. Of course. Thank you so much.